One more piece of business. Their Majesties call forth Master Jean Paul Pierpont, Master of the Pelican. Your Majesty, years, and all the assembly. May I speak to the populace for a few moments? Please. So, ladies and gentlemen, the royals, and everybody out here, we had a discussion earlier on service. Service is a very unique thing in society. Today we had a crown tournament to create an heir to continue the society's mission to enlighten everybody and keep the society going. At some point, somebody has to take that step. Whether it's becoming a seneschal, exchequer, herald, or whatever, that's a step up, bringing the society forward. There are those that did much, like our new heirs, that fought in the tournament to continue that mission. Now, what happens after it's all over? Kind of interesting. Because sometimes they fade into the distance. They're there, but what are they doing? They're not in front of you all the time. You don't see them in front of everybody every time. But there are those that go beyond the call of duty because they love to serve. Serve the kingdom and the society. And they give their best every day, whether it's on the SCA field or real life. Some of those, when they step back, as I said, you don't hear of them very, very much. Why? Because now their dinner plate is now slopping over because they're still can. Yeah, somebody's giggling. <laughs> yep, you know, because their plate is now slopping over. You don't see it, but the society sees it because they're continuing to serve and enhance what we have call at times the game. There is one that has, is still doing over and above everything you would expect. His plate not only slops over, he has a basket underneath to catch the leftovers. <laughs> and with that, uh, there's only one thing I can say. Your Majesty, I beg a boo. Ask if it is within our power and a right and proper thing, it shall be yours. At this time, I would like to elevate, have you elevate, Duke Uller Amundsen to the Order of the Pelican. Some of our most loyal companions of the Order of the Pelican. Their Majesties call before them, Masters and Mistresses of the Pelican. Noble Lords and Ladies, is it your opinion that Uller Amaranthson is worthy of elevation into the Order of the Pelican? No, Aye! Call for the candidate. Uller Amaranthson, Duke of the Society, present yourself before their Majesties. Test the ruler's nobility. <laughs> oh. I am Serena Kimberly, member of the Order of the Laurel and Countess of the Middle Kingdom. It's well established by now that Ruler has served the Marshallist community, the ANS community, and the kingdom by serving as royalty. But there is a facet to his service that I'd like to bring to light today, his compassion. When the pandemic first hit the kingdom, 
Uller was well aware of my health problems, and he knew that I was very afraid of catching the virus. So a few times a week, I received a message from Uller asking how I was doing, not only physically, but mentally and emotionally. And I am certain that I'm not the only one that received these messages, because every year during the holidays, Uller sends out a public missive to anyone who finds themselves wanting for food or comfort that they may come to his house and share his bounty. It is for his compassionate service and many other reasons why I recommend Uller highly to you today. Thank you. Yes, Your Majesty. I am Sir Cabron O'Dell, Master of the Pelican, Baron of your court, Order of the Bronze Lance. And I will attest to his chivalry and honor. His grace has always been generous, as the last person said, knowledge of his time, but his knowledge, teaching, marshalling, helping people. And you know, if you wandered into his camp at Penzing, he would greet you with food and drink. I'm not a woodworking woman. <laughs> <laughs> when you left, you'd have a bowl or a plate. <laughs> <laughs> we will probably never know the number of times this grace has shielded us from our not so perfect world. And maybe one day over a glass of bourbon, you might tell us, but not a story. Lessons on how to deal with difficult situations is always going to be And I don't think anyone can doubt he's foremost in battle and the treating his opponents with chivalry. He is also courteous of whether he's dealing with the Pyrrhic realm or the newest person in our society, both listening, talking, answering questions, guiding. And if you ask the right question, you will learn more about Norse law. This <laughs> grace guided us out of the place. He had one purpose. He was very determined. One goal. One kingdom. One, one kingdom. kingdom. Your Majesty, this grace. Companions of the Laurel, who will attest rulers further in the society of the arts. I believe I can handle that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's not that. This morning, an English sparrow came down and left a message. You might find it interesting. Greetings unto your most royal majesties and the populace of the great middle kingdom. I, Roseman Bevier. Mistress of the Art of Laurel and of the Pelican and Baroness the Court, send greetings and do commend unto you this man, Duke Lear Armisen, for the inclusion in your most order, nor sorry, most noble order of the Pelican. As a Laurel, I am to speak of his service to the arts. He is a Laurel, and that is a clear signal. <laughs> Detailing his resume would take more time than I have and others will attest to his service. So I will give you one example how he has raised service to an art he lives. Cake or death. <laughs> <laughs> Having fun around a British comedian's bit was one of my earliest, earlier fond memories of his grace's sense of humor and sense of caring when he shared a cake I had baked for him and her grace. It came rushing back to my head every time for many years I saw him post on Facebook that anybody needs food or other assistance to contact him as he would help them in any way he could. In her words, this man lives to serve. It shines through in his utter sense of responsibility to all his fellow human beings, to their safety and well-being whether it's on the SCA battlefield or being fed in the modern world. Cake or death, 
to your majesty, I commend him to, to you with joy. Your majesties, if I might go off script, okay. it is not just English sparrows who would speak of this man, but also those of the southwestern variety. Oh. Your majesties of the mid-realm, I am Mistress Ronde Bono! <laughs> would speak for my brother on behalf of the world. I would like to tell you all that the mighty gods of the Outlands are blessing this day because on our path here, they graced our very dry lands with an abundance of wind and water. <laughs> sky <laughs> and they are well pleased by these actions and I hope will bless my words in saying that we laurels are the craftspeople we create environment <coughs> with which we build this society and my brother does an amazing job as a craftsman but he goes a step further he crafts community he creates family Enough that some of us will travel great distance today. <laughs> and dodge tornadoes! <laughs> to make sure that we can recommend him to you. And I am blessed and honored to be here today, with a little bit of luck, to recommend him to you with my special Huzzah! It's courage and honor. Courage, Your Majesties. I am Maestro Mirabai Sital Seer. Usually, Masters of Defense are asked to speak of a candidate's sprezzatura, or their ability to accomplish great things while making their labor look effortless. And Uller certainly possesses this quality. He has effected positive change across our kingdom through his work, his wisdom, and his wise assery, <laughs> much of it behind the scenes and unnoticed by most. However, when I think of Uller's service, the word that comes to mind is giving. I have rarely met anyone as giving as this man. Giving of his time, his advice, his craft, his joy. He has given uncountable hours to our kingdom and our society. Through his three reigns, through his time as Kingdom Earl Marshal, Special Deputy to the Kingdom Seneschal, through his dedication to teaching the arts of combat and carving, and through his willingness to listen and give sage advice to anyone who would seek it. His service clearly shows his relentless dedication to, as he puts it, just being a good peer. But his work and dedication go far beyond what most peers do. His influence and renown reach across our kingdom and far beyond its borders, making our society a better, safer, and more joyous experience for many. Your Majesties, His Grace is a most deserving addition to your Order of the Pelican, and I am honored to recommend him to you. Service to the society and responsive to the wishes of your peers, we are resolved to create you, Master of the Pelican. Which creature will nourish her young when necessary with the blood from her own breast, and therefore has been chosen as the most appropriate symbol of service to the society? Therefore, will you, ruler, give us your word to continue to fulfill the requirements set forth for the governance of this order, as you must surely have till now? Increase your rate labors nobly, increase your talents as benefits one of your rank, and seek to disseminate your talents and abilities throughout the society. Do you promise to train any dependents you may have to serve as you have served? Is there a medallion? There is your medallion. Here's one. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. We, we got one coming. Just wait.
take from our hands a symbol of nobility and token of our esteem. We are proudly that all may recognize your service as we have acknowledged it this day. Is there a hood? That's your medicine. This hood is outward token of your new state. Swear fealty and do homage to the crown of the Middle Kingdom. Serve the crown in all things. Remember courtesy and kindness. Prize justice above personal gain. Labor for the common good. To enrich the kingdom and the society so they may flourish and grow. And to be worthy of the title of elegance. Here by my honor, my hand, and my heart, I swear. This do we hear, and shall never forget, nor fail to reward that which is given. Fealty with love, service with honor, and oath breaking with vengeance. Spear keeper, seeing a steady servant, faithful friend, aid bringer for all, giver of guidance. For us the favor, words needs patience, tried and true, strength and support in the stark times, beacons ablaze. One mid-realm, hand of bluey, and voice of scythe. <laughs> mid-realm, the great ruler, after the pelican. Huzzah! One mid-realm, 